All right, so the Infinite Zero X Pro promises to be a lot with mouth-watering specifications that made it distinct from others in the market. You have a 108 megapixel main camera with optical image stabilizations, 8 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of internal storage, 4,500 mAh battery capacity with 45 watt fast charge. And sitting at the helm is the MediaTek Helio G95 chipset. Now, I purposely saved this for the last, the periscope lens, that is capable of 5 times optical zoom and 60 times hybrid zoom. So your zoom life just got better from year to year. And it seems the Infinix Zero X Pro is one of the few phones in the market to have a periscope lens at a price of under $400. The design of the smartphone reminds me of the iPhone 12 Pro. It is bossy with sharp edge and protected by Corning Gorilla glass. While at the bottom, you have the mono speaker, USB Type-C charging port, and a headphone jack. The Infinix Zero X Pro has a 6.67 Full HD Plus Super AMOLED touchscreen with 120 years refresh rate. The screen is fluid. It is fast and smooth. But how was Infinix able to achieve 120 years of refresh rate with MediaTek and the G95 chipset? Well, Infinix was smart. They thought out of the box. By default, the Helio G95 chipset can only support 90 Hz refresh rate. But to achieve the 120 Hz refresh rate possible, to achieve it, Infinix made use of dual chip system. MediaTek and your G95 serving as chip 1 and MediaTek Intelligent Display Ship serving as Ship 2. So the amalgamation of these two ships resulted in the 120 years refresh rate. You have to be smart like Infinix to think that out. At the rear, you have the camera bump that contains a lot. First, the 108 megapixel with OIS that improves your photography experience in low light condition. So both in daytime and in low light condition, you can take fantastic pictures. The Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 Pro and Redmi 8 Pro had 108 megapixel camera, but they lacked the OIS feature. To beat the competition even more, Infinix also introduced the periscope lens that is capable of five times optical zoom. The camera can also record video in 4K resolution. Infinix did an excellent job when it comes to the rear camera of the Infinix Zero, 10, Zero X Pro. While up front, you have a 60 megapixel selfie camera that is just average. It is neither hot or cold. Just man. Now, the front camera is making me sound like a good. I mean, greatest of all time, of course. Now, the battery capacity is 4,500 mAh, which can comfortably take you for a day plus and most interesting is its charging speed. You can literally get 40% of battery within 15 minutes of charge. Software-wise, Infinix Zero X Pro run XOX 7.6 skin software based on Android 11 out of the box. Like you all know, I'm an advocate of major software upgrade. So I hope Infinix will update the Infinix Zero X Pro from Android 11 to Android 12. I'll keep you guys posted on that via my social media account at MyHD. The Infinix Zero X Pro is not perfect, it's far from it. Certain areas need to be improved. For example, the selfie camera is average and I would love to see the next Infinix Zero 11 improve on the selfie camera. And also, a stereo speaker would have been more better than the mono speaker. And to keep the value of the smartphone, it would be better if the Infinix Zero X Pro can upgrade from Android 11 to Android 12 in the coming months when the official Android 12 has been released by Google. Other than those, the Infinix Zero X Pro is a bunch of many nice features that is worth considering. Fantastic display, fantastic rear cameras, 108 megapixel with optical image stabilization and periscope lens that supports 5 times optical zoom. And then you also have fantastic battery life. 
I'll be comparing the Infinix Zero X Pro to other devices. Not to miss out, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the post bell for more. And also tell me in the comment section, I'd love to know your opinion. What do you think about the Infinix Zero X Pro? Alright, it's my GA. Thanks for watching and I'll see you around in my next one. And if you want to reach for the moon, this is the Infinite Zero X Pro in action.